Hey guys, welcome back to the Laux Family Farm. Today I'm going to be showing you our new duck house. My husband Alex built this duck house so we can move the ducks out onto the pond and they'll have a place to go in the evening to be safe from predators and also have some shelter from um, inclement weather. Now this house, we did design it to be easily moved if we need to, but it will hopefully primarily stay in one location um, for a good amount of time. At the beginning of the video, I am just gonna give you a general tour and show you the duck house, but then I will go through and explain a little bit more into depth and show you how we built the house. All right, here's the duck house. We have it just outside the fence near the pond. This is an eight foot long house. We currently only have five ducks. We have plans of getting more, probably around seven. And I think it'll house 12 ducks pretty comfortably. We put handles on the front and back so that if we do need to move the house, we are able to pick it up. It's a little heavy, but not unmanageable. Before I go into detail about how Alex built the duck house, I wanted to be sure to encourage everyone to check out Country View Acres video about their duck house build. I'll be sure to include a link in the description below. They gave us a lot of inspiration for our duck house that we built. So starting off, Alex used two by fours and two by sixes to make the frame of the house. We went with a wide width for our A-frame so the ducks could have more space. We primarily tried to use supplies that we already had here on the farm to save money since the cost of lumber is so high right now. Once Alex got the frame set up to where he needed it to be, he attached it to the two by sixes with three half inch deck screws. We had them left over from our deck build that we did last year. Now most of the two by fours we did again have here on the property from future projects. We only had to buy a handful of two by fours for the frame. Next, Alex cut two foot two by fours to use as supports. Once the supports were installed, Alex cut out OSB to size for the front and back. He used a circular saw. Honestly, plywood would be best. Again, we didn't have it here. Cost of wood was just outrageous. So we went with what we had. It won't have as much um, length to its life, but we put some good paint on it and we're hoping that it'll hold up for a couple years before we have to replace it. Next up was painting. I used outdoor acrylic white paint. I had it left over from another project. While I applied the first coat of paint, Alex cut out a door for the front of the house. He framed the door with some two by fours. And then to attach the door, he found some cheap hinges from Menards and also a lock. We wanted to make sure our ducks were safe from predators. The next day we were able to add a second coat of paint. And once that coat of paint was dry, we were able to start attaching the hardware cloth. The cloth serves two purposes, one to allow ventilation and two to be a safeguard from predators. Alex used galvanized staples to attach the hardware cloth. Once that was installed, it was time for the metal siding. He cut the siding with a grinder and cutoff wheel. After they were cut to size, Alex used barn siding screws to attach the siding.
Again, you can see here that the hardware cloth is underneath that siding that just keeps predators out. Uh, lastly, Alex bent an old piece of sheet metal. He made it a ridge cap, then added handles to the front and back using three quarter inch EMT. He painted them both white with spray paint just to hope to help with some rusting in the future. And that was it. We're pretty happy with how our duck house turned out. That's gonna be it for this video. Please be sure to like and consider subscribing so you can see future videos. Bye, see you next time.